What's going on anglers? Texas Rigged here down at the creek again and today I have something really cool to show you guys. I found this rod at Walmart for about $20. It is a proficiency light action collapsible rod. It's not long at all. I mean it's literally something you can throw in your trunk or in your backpack, take wherever you go and always have a way to catch fish. I thought this was a really great Christmas idea uh, for my brother, so I picked him one up as well. As you can see, it has kind of like a splatter green paint job on it, which I look past because as long as it catches fish, it doesn't really matter to me. I really only throw light lures on here, little Strike King Mini Kings or even like a Fat Albert Grub, but my favorite thing to use on this rod is a light drop shot setup because it'll help you cast a little bit farther uh, with this rod being so short you really don't have the best casting ability but in areas like I'm at now with a lot of overhanging trees and you have to walk a little bit of a ways from your car having such a small and light rod is a great idea and the fish feel really big when you catch a fish on it you can catch even a small fish and, and it feels great. It's a very stiff rod, I will say that. Like there's, it's got some backbone to it. So I know you can definitely hook into some bigger fish and still reel them in. It comes with a micro spin cast reel that is a little bit lower quality, but you could easily fix that if you can find a micro spin cast reel from Japan or just any other website that you might be able to come across one. I really thought this would be a great addition to any angler's kit and what's really interesting about it is that this rod doesn't have any line guides. So the way that this rod was designed is right here there's a little compartment that you can unscrew and there's little cylindrical weights inside of it. And so to, to get some line on this rod you tie your line to the cylindrical weight and then you put it inside the rod and then just kind of shake it till it goes all the way down the shaft and then it'll come out the other side you cut that off the weight and then tie your lure on I thought that was a very innovative way of doing it and it also eliminates the risk of breaking line guides if you are hiking or camping throwing it in your backpack etc the worst thing you want to find out is that one of your line guides broke during the transport process to getting all your gear out to go fish I've never really used any proficiency products, but you guys should be able to find this at Walmart. Like I said, I think it was like 20 bucks. And I mean, it's almost like a why not kind of purchase, right? I mean, how could you pass up the opportunity of slaying some bass on this little thing? I'm down here at a part of the creek today that I haven't fished in quite a long time. I've already seen two or three bass. One of them was a good size, it was like a three pounder. My only concern is there's a lot of cover and fallen trees in this part of the creek. So getting the leverage to get fish over that cover might be a little troublesome. Man, this rod is just so cool. I mean, you could probably throw anything on it, like worms and like I said, small spinner baits like the Strike King Mini King with the single Colorado blade. I got the grub on there. And then you also can, like I said, do drop shots, things like that. But I'm gonna keep poking around down in this creek and see if I can get a bass on it for you guys. Stick with me. All right guys, so I'm pretty high up in the air. Right there is a huge bass. There's three or four of them. They're seriously like four pound fish or bigger. There might be some five pounders in here. I know you can't see them from up here, but all along this shoreline, they're just sitting. I have to find a way to get down there, but it's all thorn bushes and basically no way to climb up. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six bass. I gotta see if I can get down there, but I can't cast. I have to get across the creek and see if I can cast over. See, right there. Right there, there's three of them. And they're good sized fish too. 
All right guys, so I made it to the other side and I found this massive grass snake. He's all coiled up and like, oh, there's two of them. Yeah, there's two different snakes basically tied together. Look at that. We call them a ribbon snake or a grass snake, whatever you want to call it, but that's really cool. All right, so I did end up hooking into a fish, but the lure broke off. Felt like a really good fish, man. He was pulling hard. Um, could have been because the line has been wrapped around trees before and it might have had some, some abrasion to it. And I broke one of my number one rules and I only brought one lure. <laughs> so now I'm um, shit out of luck and I don't have any lures to fish with. I might have some all the way back in the car, but that's like a mile away. I mainly came down here just to film the rod today and I just got hooked on the fishing. So I will definitely be back in this spot here because right now, this is gonna be my new honey hole. The size of the fish that's in here, the cleanliness of the water, it's super clear, it's flowing good. The bass look amazing, they're huge. And it's actually pretty easy to get across the creek and it's right, right down the road from my house. So I will definitely be back to this spot very soon. Probably on Saturday, I'll be fishing down here. So thank you guys for tuning in. I really hope you thought this proficiency telescopic rod was cool definitely something that I think is worthy of your piece of kit and you'll definitely be seeing me fish with this thing a lot more just for fun right because easily I could have brought any other rod down here but it's a challenge to catch fish on little rods like this so thank you guys so much for coming down to the creek with me and I will see you back down here very soon Texas rigged out I just found this, uh, this worm on the shore and now I'm kicking myself because I do have another lure but I don't have any more hooks. So that got me thinking. This rod has the compartment right here for the weights that you have to use to get the line through the rod shaft. I wonder if it's big enough to hold small hooks like, a, like drop shot hooks and things like that. It seems to be wide enough for something like a drop shot hook and maybe even some drop shot weights. So if you can even pack a micro fishing kit in here with extra stuff, that makes this rod even more valuable.